better artifact, glitches, distortion. I like them so much that with a friend we are making movie feel with that. In this short movie I was in charge of this shot. Pretty boring shot. That ended up being like that. now I think, but let me get you through the process. Okay, I have an unhealthy fascination for fluorescent light. The flickering it made when it having a bad ballast. The noise when you turn it on, turn me on. No, but seriously, listen to that. Ooh. With that in mind, I spend some time doing a quick concept of the shot to know where I'm going. You will see less and less Maya on this channel as I started my conversion to Blender, but at the time of this project, I started in Maya to model my fluorescent light, which is actually an optional step because I later replaced it with a model from Megascan. What is important, I think, is to put your model at scale. Maya is in centimeter, so I know that if I create a cube of 60 units, my neon will be 60 centimeter wide. I do the same with the roof at 220 centimeter from the ground. For the ceiling, I want to have this type of concrete. So I quickly made a few planks. I even tried to make a sculpt to match the concrete detail, but again it was useless. I quickly realized that it was not needed for this project. The texture details were far enough. I am adding cables and attach them to bring a bit more details to the scene. That's it basically for the modeling, export your model in FBX to Unreal and you're good to go. This is my favorite moment right now, when you start Unreal with your head full of ideas and eager to create, when it's not rotten with the technical problem yet. When you start a new project, those are the options I always have on. I enable lumen, retracing and virtual texture. After importing our model, the first thing I start with is creating a camera. For the sake of the short, it needs to be an anamorphic cinemascope camera. On internet, I find the sensor size I want, the 2 times anamorphic 4 perf crop, 4 for the super 35 sensor, or whatever the name is. As you can see, it's not the ratio we want, as we want the cinemascope ratio looking like that with the black bands. It's because it's supposed to be a 2 times anamorphic. In Unreal, it translates by a squeeze factor at 2. And here we go for our cinema format. One of the characteristics of this lens is, among other, a lot more interesting than that, is the oval shaped bokeh. I put a 105mm focal lens to flatten my image. And I play with the manual defocus to shape my blur and adding realism to the scene, even if you can see it, the overall look is flat due to the composition first. In total, or always more, my voice can roam from all to all, silent till an eat does call. What should you do? The material used for the light is an emissive material. Simple to do with a constant color, multiplied by a parameter to be able to have more control on the glow intensity. Then I am doing a rough lighting to be able to work more efficiently on my concrete shading. From Megascan, with just two materials and a bit of tweak, I was able to have a really cool result right away. On the two middle plank, I added a bit of displacement based on the blue channel of the ORD map that come with the material I downloaded from Megascan. It's also the time to change completely my mind and decide that I don't like this fluorescent light at all. But to make it even more simple, I downloaded a model from Megascan and just applied my fluorescent bulb to it. 
Lastly, for the shading, I'm adding blue decals. I know in my head already that this render will be split in two, so the blood decals will be for the second part of the render. Those decals are reacting to the lighting and add, I think, a nice details on this simple seating. To create the lamp torch effect, I am adding a light and attach an IES profile to it. This one. I can then animate the transform of this light by selecting movable, opening a sequencer, drag and drop the light and adding transform option by right clicking on the light and I'm now able to key the transform the way I want and keying also the visibility of the decals when the light is on or off. I downloaded from Sketchfab a creature made by Bucketo. It have a really simplistic rig attached to it. That will be enough to make some posing inside Maya. I also did a little animation on the head in 4 frames because I had an idea in mind for the post-production. I tried to export the creature like that but Unreal was not happy about it with the amount of edges per vertex. So I had to triangulate the creature. I added as well a light smooth to it at the same time. For the eye of the creature I'm adding the same emissive material that I used for the neon while changing the color to red and for the rest of the body it is covered with the blue decals and I was satisfied with this happy accident. The final touch is to refine a bit the lighting and we are ready to render. The render settings are available in the description of my previous video on Unreal Engine. I will let you have a look if you are curious, it is on the corner of your screen. Okay, on this short movie, the editing is supposed to totally destroy the 3D. So I'm bringing this glitchy CCTV aspect to the render. To be honest, I'm not good with Resolve and I feel bad to do a tutorial about that. So I will show you roughly what I did, expecting that you can find something matching on your own if you need it. Half of it is made in color grading. At first, just a linear to Rec 709 conversion, a curve and few temperature switching, a film damage FX, a glow, grain and vignette. And the other half is made by adding my own footage or some internet one on top of the 3D like this one, this one that come from a library that I'm paying and I'm just using them in different fusion mode to be able to play on the rhythm of what happy on screen. And here goes the final result. For the final shorts I will correct the vignettage maybe a bit too strong on this one but basically that's it we made a less boring shot I think. Nothing except me more than creating art project. A movie that will go for months or random one hour test. 3D photography and drawing. It put me in a flow state and I'm living for that. I'm not doing doing some of that alone but sometimes teaming up is your solution to not spending years on a project. And this is where you do your entrance you see? Because soon you and I will be able to create art together. Until then, do not worry. With hard work and dedication, you will find success in your passion, regardless of natural talent or expensive degrees. So stay motivated.